Hello Pisces, I'm Kathleen Robinson of Karma Queens and Five Tarot. Welcome to my tarot podcast for February 2024. This month we are only going to focus on love and its many combinations for you, as Valentine's Day is all about that, isn't it? And if you'd like to have a tarot reading with me, then head over to my website, fivetarot.co.uk and decide what type of reading you would like or contact me via email at karmaqueens at gmail.com. So Pisces, you've been brought the Knight of Swords upright. And if you're asking about what is the outcome of a relationship, that means that communication may be a little harsh between you and your person. It's astrologically associated with Gemini, which is a strong communication related energy. It could be a relationship where one of you is extremely blunt to the point of inadvertently hurting the other partner. It can be addressed by communicating honestly that your person's blunt sign, bluntness sometimes hurts you. Alternatively, you could adopt your person's communication style and appreciate their extreme honesty. You'd rather know the truth, wouldn't you? The Knight of Swords is a sign that a relationship is more driven by intellect and mental power and less emotions and heart. Depending on your love language and personal preferences, this could be a good thing or bad thing. If you are compatible and on the same page on worldwide views and values, this relationship will be amazing. However, if you're not on the same page on key issues, this person can be opinionated and overbearing. They can be extremely stubborn and they're likely to change their minds about things. So if you're thinking about taking this relationship to the next level, raise children together and so forth, definitely take this into serious consideration. If you're wondering about a potential relationship, it means a lack of romance. The Knight of Swords is not the most romantic energy. Sometimes this energy can be mistaken for lack of interest, as it's more intellectual and professional than personal. It doesn't mean a relationship's not possible. It simply means that you need to understand how this person approaches love to get a clear idea of whether a relationship is possible. However, usually, if this person is not interested, they will tell you bluntly to your face. If this person struggles with expressing emotions, try being patient until you get some more clarity on how they feel about a future with you. If you're in a new relationship, it means needing to slow down in the relationship. This knight is always in a hurry, an energy which may not be the most healthy energy to have in a relationship. It may feel like a fast paced one. You or your person might be very direct and you don't beat about the bush about what you want out of the relationship. It might feel exciting to progress from one phase to another at a quick rate, but all things take time and the journey is part of the fun. So make sure you make a point of enjoying the present moment. If you're in an existing relationship, it's time to progress the relationship to something more. If you maybe have been living together for years, suddenly decide it's time to legalize things. The air energy in this card indicates cerebral energy, so your decision may be motivated by practical considerations such as tact purposes. However, this does not mean that love isn't genuine. The two of you may simply not believe the traditional marriage and you never really saw the necessity for legalizing your relationship. Alternatively, you may go on to an impromptu trip together. If you're currently in separation with each other, it means being rushed into something or lacking tact around a situation. If you're separated by distance, it could indicate that you're your person wanting to head to a higher level of commitment far too soon. Unfortunately, it could mean that you're not thinking things through thoroughly enough. The two of you don't need to rush into anything just to prove how serious you are about each other. And if you're inquiring about an ex you're interested in reconciling with, your ex might want to rush back in. However, make sure that they've probably done their healing since this is a night that has a tendency to rush in with zero planning or consideration. So that's all from me, Kathleen Robinson. Until the next time, take care.